Hello and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki. So by now you've probably heard about the game Schedule 1, it's one of the biggest hits of recent memory. This was made by a sole developer and made over 50 million dollars, that's an insane amount. As a side note, it's quite crazy how recently sole developers have been making tons of bank. I mean last year we had Bolatro, sole developer, made millions of dollars. Supermarket Sim, started off as a solo dev, millions of dollars. CCG Card Shop, same thing, started off as a solo dev, again made millions of dollars. So anyway, just a side note, things are pretty insane. By the way, I wrote about this in my Game Dev Report newsletter. That's where I cover any interesting Game Dev news and articles that I come across every week. Check it out in the link description. So anyways, yep, you've probably heard about this game, Schedule 1, massive game, super mega hit. And a while ago, I made a very interesting video. It is titled, What Makes a Game Low Effort? In there, I talked about a handful of things that make a game seem low effort. And basically, of course, how you should avoid those things if you don't want your game to come across as being low effort. Some of the things that I mentioned there was make sure your game doesn't have bad graphics, doesn't have bad voice acting doesn't have a ton of bugs, so it's actually polished. And there was one really interesting comment in that video. So here this dev says, so is Schedule 1 a low effort game? It has bad graphics, bad voice acting, and isn't polished, yet is so confusingly successful. Now on that, first of all, I would say, being low effort doesn't necessarily mean you won't find success. It makes things much harder, but technically you can find success. In the video, I specifically mentioned the example of the game Pokemon Arceus. That's a game that by many accounts sounds like a low effort game, and yet sold millions and millions of copies. But like I said here, that is basically an exception. They simply have an audience that will buy their games no matter what they do. So if you yourself, if you don't have a complex audience yourself, then I would say definitely pay attention to make sure your game is not low effort. Because while you can find success with a low effort game, that will obviously make it quite a bit harder. So if you can't avoid looking at low effort, obviously that's something you should do. But more importantly, back to the point in this comment, basically it's calling Schedule 1 a low effort game, or basically asking is it like that? Because apparently it has bad graphics, bad voice, and isn't polished. And over here I replied to it, and I said I haven't played it myself, but looking at the scene page and gameplay trailers, it is definitely not a low effort game. So for example, it does not have bad graphics, stylized does not mean bad. This is something that a lot of people honestly quite confuse me. There are some people who think realistic equals good, stylized equals bad. Personally, as someone who tends to prefer actually more stylized graphics, I never quite understood that mindset. For example, I spent my childhood playing Theme Hospital. I think it's a great looking game. Personally, to me, I find it more appealing than something like the original Call of Duty. So at this point, I would definitely not agree that the game looks bad or has bad graphics. It does have stylized graphics, but I think they are more than good enough. The assets look high quality, the lighting is good, so I do think it looks perfectly fine. I definitely disagree that this would look like bad graphics. Same thing for how Minecraft also has stylized graphics and also plenty of people really enjoy playing it. Again, it's not realistic, but it's not meant to be. It is intentionally meant to be blocky. And within that intention, I think it looks really good. So non-realistic does not equal bad graphics. Then I wrote, does it have voice acting? I don't hear anything in the trailer. Like I said, I still haven't played for myself. I tried watching some gameplay videos and I didn't hear any voice acting. So again, that goes back to what I said in the other video, which is no voice acting is better than bad voice acting. So in that sense, it also doesn't seem to be a low effort game. Then looking at the trailer, it does not have vast empty open spaces. Every area in the game actually has quite a lot of objects, quite a lot of things. Even the outside areas, yep, that looks like a city. So it's not as complex as something like GTA, but it definitely looks like a valid working city. And based on the comments, based on the reviews, it is absolutely polished in the things that matter, just like Supermarket Simulator. That was the other game that also was a mega hit last year. And on that one, people also said this looks quite a bit janky. But after playing it, the conclusion is that it definitely has quite a lot of polish, specifically on the things that do matter. So some things aren't polished, but the things that the player does over and over again, those are extremely polished, extremely satisfying. And here in this game, based on the reviews, it appears to be the exact same scenario. So it does have a ton of polish, exactly what it counts. And then of course, the Steam page is extremely good. That is always going to be one of the clear signs that some kind of game looks low effort. If your Steam page is bad, if it just has text, nothing else, that is going to be bad, that is going to leave a bad first impression on your players. And over here, looking at the Steam page, the caption looks really nice, I quite like it. Then it's got a fun but very clear short description from small time to kingpin, just manufacture and distribute, so right away it talks about the kind of progression. So if you're the kind of person who likes these kinds of games, start small and become big, this is a great short description. Then down here on the full description, this one does have some nice highlights, it does have a bunch of text explaining things, it does have some animated GIFs, all of them look quite nice. It talks about all of the various things that you do inside the game. So again, definitely not a low effort scene page. If you want to learn how to make a great scene page, I highly recommend you go watch the videos that I did with Chris Zukowski. Chris is a scene marketing expert, so I highly recommend you listen to his advice to make a great scene page that does not look low effort. So based on all of this, my reply here is I have no idea why you think it's low effort. Just because of visuals, Minecraft is definitely not a low effort game. So again, stylized does not mean low effort. Some people don't like it, some people only play realistic games. But a lot of people are perfectly fine with a stylized visual, again, as long as it does not look low effort. If it looks consistent, then pretty much any kind of style can work. 
So is Schedule 1 a low effort game that, despite it, found quite a lot of success? Personally, I don't think so. Personally, I think this is clearly a very well made game, which again is super impressive how it was actually a solo developer's first game. That's an insane thing. But regardless of being a first game or not, it is clearly a very well made game and clearly quite a lot of people love it. And if you want to put in the effort to make some really high quality games, if so, then you can learn how to do that by following my free complete courses. You can learn the basics of Unity and game development with my free Kitchen Chaos course. By the way, side note, one developer learned from this course and eventually ended up making a game that made $150,000. Alternatively, if you prefer to focus on the language itself, you can watch my free C-Sharp course. Or if you like multiplayer games, you can also watch my free course on that. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.